Good evening, class. Everybody is ready? Yes. So the previous professor told me that that maybe that monitor is not working. Sound system is not working. Also, she also told me that that, that was not working, but it's working now. So uh, are you okay from the back that you can hear me? Okay? Thank you so much. So let us start our class today, tonight. So is there anyone here who were last class but did not sign one the Attendance Is there anybody here? You did not sign up? I'm asking if who was in the last class but forgot to sign on the seat. You can you please give me a favor? Can you please come forward and sign on? Anybody else? We have some front seat. If you please give us give me some favor. So if you please come forward then it will uh, save my voice. <laughs> Sit over here, please. Josh? Oh, thank you, Josh. Thank you. But I'm wondering why you forgot to sign it. Oh, you were not? Oh, no. I wasn't here for that class. Okay. So, as you know that there is a an associated layer class with this class. Like this class is theoretical class, one face to face class is three credits, right? There is another one credit lab class. Yeah, from a, my advising officials are telling me that some of you, at least there were 15 students, maybe not from this class, from other classes, did not assign any lab class. So if you forget to assign that, uh, if you do not complete your lab class, you will not get full credit. You have to complete four credit for this class, okay? And maybe at um, Sunday night, midnight, until 11.45 is their last day for drop or add any class, new class. Is there anybody here who has an intention or who has like a dwelling uh, mind that you may drop this class? You did not like my first class and you want to drop this class? <laughs> you? Possible, but not. Okay, I would like to request you to attend with my few more classes. Okay, before you take that critical decision, okay? Okay, really. I think this class is really an important class, you know that, and, uh, and really it will be a difficult class. And, but I believe it will be an interesting class. And I like you to, I like to make this class as one of your, or your best class in your uh, college life. So, but I alone cannot do that. I need your cooperative help. I need all of your help. Because I'm alone here and you are 25, 125 alone. So in terms of weight, strength and energy, <laughs> I'm not uh, comparable, I'm not doable to do this. I'm not able to, but if you help me that it is doable for me. You know, I, I, as I told you that I have been programming and teaching object-oriented programming and Java and C++ for about about 20 years. About 20 years. But still, I'm learning. And still, uh, if, if people ask me, what is my skill in Java or object-oriented programming and, and C++ and Java, I will ask you six. I, I never remember that I told you. So this is my book, first book uh, that, that I wrote in uh, 1999 maybe. It took me about two years. To write this book. At that time, I was teaching. I was a fresh uh, lecturer, and then I was working. And then, my, at my first time, I was writing this book. But it took about two years, on a year and a half, to write this book. It has about uh, 500 programs written in C and C++. I compiled and I wrote all of these programs, and all of almost 90 percent 
99 percent program then running successfully. <coughs> but really, C, this is this is the book C and C and C plus plus. At that time, when I was a student like like you, about 22 years ago, 25 years ago, 20 years ago, that at that time C was a popular academic language, and then C plus plus was the was the most and best popular uh, object oriented programming language in academia because in order to see in order to learn object oriented concepts c++ is the uh, at that time c++ was the base programming language that were taught in academia because you have to say, you have to learn some programming concepts like polymorphism inheritance abstraction class object these are easily uh, uh, describable using using C++. Also, uh, there are other programming languages, object-oriented programming languages like Visual Basic, Visual Foxtrot at that time, but those were not academic programming languages. But after that, you know, I saw that after 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 2010, 19, at that time, when Java became popular, the uh, academia professors moved to Java. <laughs> the, uh, taught Java in academia, but I was not taught uh, Java in my class when I was a student like this. I wrote this book Java, on Java programming during uh, maybe 9-11 times, I remember that time, 9-11 times, time. this book has already about 500 Java programs. So actually what I did, I converted all of the programs that I wrote in C++ in Java. But this, this book took me about two years to write. But this book took me about six or six, seven, eight months, only seven months. Because I compiled all the programs are in Java or, or in C++, I have that I converted. There are no similarities because it was possible because there are many similarities between one programming language and another programming language. But there are some, some like for instance, 60 to 70 percent concepts are same, but there are 30 to like 40% uh, are different. This is why I uh, we suggest you to learn at least one programming language nicely as much as you can. Then you can learn a secondary programming language, a tertiary programming language. So in other class, I have students are asking me what is about my opinion. What would be the first language if they want to learn? And based on my experience, I told them that if I would learn first language, only one language, then I would learn Java. Because, you know, Java has some, some advanced features that C++, C Sharp, and Python, these programming languages do not have. One of the most features of Java is the independency, platform independency. We mean platform, uh, in term, in, by the term platform independency, we mean uh, the uh, operating system independence. Like compile, when you compile a Java program in one language, that can be recompiled in another program in, in, so in, in one environment, operating system like Windows, it can be run upon any write a program in Java in Windows, you, you can run it in Windows or in uh, uh, Mac environment or Linux or Windows or Ubuntu environment. Because the reason is that, like C++ is compiler dependent. It has a compiler, so when you uh, uh, compile a program, it creates C++ program creates a single or, or a linked a bunch of EXE file, executable file. But Java, it does not create an executable file, whether it creates a jar file or WAR file. So actually, in C and C++, this program is, this uh, program run under compiler, but in in uh, with Java, it has both compiler and interpreter. You know uh, the difference between compiler and interpreter. Okay, compiler is more powerful than interpreter. Interpreter is always required to be with the system, but the compiler is not required to be with the system. Once you compile a program with a compiler, it creates an executable file, and then it, and and then 
that executable file can run itself independently without help of the compiler. But when you uh, compile a program by an interpreter, that interpreter is required to stay with the program always, all time. Then the question is that if compiler is better and Java works with compiler, why it is required to use another interpreter that is less powerful and that is less uh, popular? The reason is that the use of the dual use, use of compiler or interpreter has made Java an independent and a, a platform independent programming language. We will know that later, maybe. Sometime later I will talk about that. Because in, uh, Java works with JVM. You may think that when you uh, install Java, JDK, it also installs JVM, Java virtual machine. A virtual machine is just like a machine inside another machine. Like if you have a laptop, sometimes you have a laptop or desktop, you see that you see there are multiple uh, processors, we call, call dual processors, right? That means there are multiple processors. Some uh, some machines like airplanes, airplanes have uh, dual machines, multiple machines, power machine, port machine, because in, on, the, on the air, while traveling from USA to China, long distance, 17, that six, 16, 17 hours. What would happen if there is only one machine and that machine become, becomes uh, like this, uh, out of quick, what would happen, right? Disaster. So there are some secondary or tertiary or fourth machine, both engine, that if one engine fails, then the second engine would start automatically. Or there will there, they have option that multiple engines run, will run simultaneously, parallel. So something, same thing, like in Java, it, it, uh, has been developed that way that it has a, a virtual machine, it's called JVM, Java virtual machine. It's one machine inside another machine. That virtual machine creates an, uh, creates, uh, an environment, or creates a, a platform in independent uh, micro. We will learn that about later. Okay. So, according to the syllabus, these You know, by default, I am a lecturer here, so I am supposed to give lecture. Okay, I am supposed to give lecture, and you are supposed to listen to me. Okay, but I don't like to make my class like that way. I like to make it an interactive class. Okay, so I like to listen your voice. So whatever you know and you understand, please share your knowledge with me. Sometimes it will happen that you know something better than me. Okay? Something that you know that I do not know. Okay, so let us share our knowledge with each other. And so in this class, I have three expectations from you. Okay, personally, I have three expectations or three requests to you. So my first request is that let us to be everybody, let us to be collaborative. Okay, collaboration means, you understand know, collaboration means, right? Let us help each other. Okay, we are not a competitor to each other. Okay, nobody is competitor here to each other. Okay, even you are in the same class. Okay, you are not my competitor, I am not your competitor. Okay, so let us be collaborative to each other. And everybody please be responsible. Responsible to your duties, okay? Let me help to be responsible to my duties and I want you to be responsible to your duties, okay? And the third thing is that please be respectful. Please be respectful to me and let me to be respectful to you. Please be respectful to each other next to you. Even please be respectful, be respectful to someone you do not know. To your parents, to your friends and family. Then our life will be easy and life will be better. It will be a, a heaven. Okay, so let us do that way.
and maybe there is a syllabus quiz today. According to the syllabus, there is a syllabus quiz today. Uh, I don't know, is it due tonight? Huh? Tonight or tomorrow? Saturday? Okay, that sounds good, but uh, uh, I have a layer of this class tonight. So, mm, I don't know. I will talk about this uh, I will this in this class. And for the next two weeks, uh, I am supposed to review CSE 1321 content. 1321 class, there is a whole class. I am going to teach uh, the whole semester. I think everybody took that class. Is there anybody here that did not take 1321? We are taking the test, but uh, I'm not sure how uh, you are allowed to take this class because it says the prerequisite. It was it was 1301, but they switched to the PSE department, so then it's 1321 for principal and Peter. So different. But if you took 1301, it satisfies that credit. So it's the same thing. It's just a different department, different name. No problem. But I'm asking about the content right. that I'm going to review. But if you do not, uh, you are. Uh, if you are not taught that, right, it will be difficult for me to read it. And it will be difficult for you to understand. But this is why for the, we have two more weeks. So if you, uh, if you please, let us do a review, okay? When you have some time, so please do review your, uh, review your 13, 21, by our 30, uh, the CS1 course content. Give some time as much as you can to review. I know you will not be able to remember everything. You don't need to remember everything, okay? Or whatever you can, please remember, okay? Because because there is an assignment maybe uh, uh, on lab two. Maybe I don't I have not seen that the assignment content, but maybe that will be related to 1321 or that will CS1 class. And then we have object oriented programming concept, and then there are a lot of things to discuss. Okay, and then another thing that I would like to tell you that although I told you in, in my last class, or although, although other professors are telling and we are telling that this class will be programming language independent, we will try to teach that way, but it may not be good. Based on my experience in, in learning and teaching for object oriented concepts and, and programming languages, it might be difficult for me. If I want to uh, make completely programming language independent, this class. Whether I would like to start, like to demonstrate the concept with at least one programming language. But sometimes, most of the time, I will uh, demonstrate uh, something if needed with Java. Maybe sometimes I can demonstrate that with Python. Sometimes I can demonstrate with C sharp. But most of the time, uh, but, but sure, for sure, I will demonstrate Java, with Java, at some time. Sometime or initial. So this is why I like everybody to install Java. At the end of this class, or for so next week, you get to class and install Java, and JDK, and then click on your computer. And please uh, do some practice to write at least some program, some sort of program with uh, Eclipse in Java. Then it will be easy for me that to demonstrate. So this is the algorithm. This is the implementation with Java. This is the implementation with Python. This is the implementation with C sharp. Because that if once I write a program in Java, that I will need like ten percent or twenty percent A to convert it to Python. Yes. You have to say me. <laughs> you know, Java is an open source language. You know, I'm not an open source language. Yes, sir. Puppy. You will download for me. Yes. Yeah, for one night. That's for one night. Yes. <laughs> You may have seen that I, I uploaded the last lecture video on the D2L system. You have seen that? 
and I also uploaded that uh, video on my YouTube channel, on my personal YouTube channel that I I recommend you that CSIT experts. I uploaded some videos over here and the last lecture class over here. Okay, so I, I was talking with another professor. If there is no restriction, if there is no restriction, I want to upload all of these lectures as well as more and more at, at some advanced level videos on YouTube channel for free. And I'd like to invite and request you to join on my YouTube channel. I have some other YouTube channels that I volunteer. I do volunteer for uh, for uh, for the last couple of years. I have uh, many friends and they are joining with me and they are helping me in order to uh, expand my channel. So one of my uh, so I have created this channel. CS IT at expert. CS means computer science and information technology education experts. Okay, so this is completely a uh, volunteer work for me. And on, on this channel, I am planning to like create multiple uh, playlists. Playlist, that means a list of similar uh, videos. So that for, for the first one that I have created for the CS 1322, this section maybe, 1322 is this one, the last one, right? Section. This is your section, right? So I have uploaded last class video over here. And then I am creating another uh, and maintaining another playlist. So this playlist is titled with Java, Eclipse, Maven, Jenkins related videos. So, so far I have uh, recorded only five videos. Okay, so I want everybody to watch this video in the weekend. No matter whether you are taking Java lab or not. Okay. So but ultimately the reason is that ultimately you need and you have to learn Java. Either in this semester or next class. Okay? Java is the most uh, the best language now. It's the most popular language. For instance, Java like in, like English, the language English is an international language, right? So if somebody did becomes determined that uh, he would not learn English, but will stay in USA. Remember that how difficult it will be for him to work and stay in, in, in the USA without learning English. So without learning Java, it will be difficult for you to learn the object-oriented programming concept and to be a skilled uh, IT professional. Either you go in CS or IT or uh, software engineering. Must be to learn Java. But as I told you, actually in companies, in academia, you will be taught it like only the theoretical basic things. But, it, but companies, they expect a lot. They use a lot of other tools, other technologies. But definitely the foundation is Java theoretical in one year. I, I want to make the uh, gap, make up the gap between academia and industry. So, but it is possible for you if you uh, work, if you give some extra effort. I am not, I will not be able to teach everything in this class. No professor will be able. Even in, you know, during your four years, you will not be able to learn everything that you can do for company. It will be better if you can go uh, go to an internship. In summer job, then you will learn something more that uh, industry use. So for example, Maven, Jenkins, these are the stuff maybe are not covered in academic syllabus. But we need, ultimately you need to learn. So I will try my best to make some video. And I believe on you, you watch the video at least one time or two times. Then if you do some practice, you will have some knowledge. Yes, sir. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, so this playlist, if I go through it, will it teach me a, how to do a CI 
Continuous integration? Yes. Yes. Ultimately, I have my goal to uh, do that, but it will take uh, me to record another at least 20, 30 videos that with my event, then, then uh, after that, I will go to the Okay. I have another challenge. Actually, I have another challenge that I have been running for a couple of years. Uh, uh, This is my another channel that is actually in my, is, I have about 500 videos on this channel. But all videos are in my native language, Bengali. So you will not understand this. You will not understand. It has a, a lot of things. Jenkins, automation engineering, uh, Eclipse, uh, Maven, a lot of things. Java, manual testing, automation testing, a lot of things. But, yeah, this is why I have created another, another channel. Okay, I have created another channel, and with this channel, I have my friends. I have two other friends, they are collaborating with me. Sometimes they make some videos and then give me. But this is why I'm inviting you to my new channel. Okay, let us work together. And ultimately, what will happen if you join with me, then ultimately, you will be bought. Within the, within the next, next three or four years, by the time you graduate, you will learn something more. Even in this, yeah, believe me, even in this semester, if you want uh, give some extra effort with my channel and then if you learn this and do this practice, you will learn something new more than some graduate students, more than some of your senior class students. Believe me, let us give a try. So the first step is effort, although it is an optional. But maybe I want to make it record for you, uh, so if you want to uh, be successful, and if you want to be successful in this class, so please, uh, what, is, what is that thing? Yeah, please watch these five videos, uh, Jenkins, Java, Eclipse, Jenkins, these five videos, and please watch the videos, the first videos first, okay? This one, and then second, this one, and then third, this one, and then fourth, and then fifth, this one, okay? Watch this video serially. And do your, make your configure, con computer configure with this my, my recommendation, okay? That it will be easy for you to expedite your work. And then ultimately, by the end of these five videos, you will uh, be able to install Java, you will be able to install Eclipse, and you will be able to install and you create a new project, Java project on Eclipse, and you will be able to run yourself. You don't need my help. Believe me, if you watch this video, but if you face some problem, you know, I have some limitations. I'm not a, a, a superman. I'm not a superman. I have some limitations. My first and foremost limitation is my language barrier. Sometimes you may not understand my accent. Clearly, I have my I have British accent. <laughs> <laughs> British, our native language, uh, our English is taught differently than here in USA. Sometimes my young kids, children, <laughs> they do master in tune. Oh, it's not wrong. It's not true. Okay, the English, your English, my English is not <clears throat> good. Okay, so in some case, maybe you will, uh, may, may not understand clearly, but my expression is that if there is uh, someone over here, or if you try to speak in my native language, if you can do 60%, I will understand, 80-90%. I will guess what you are going to be talking. Okay? So then try to do it. So whatever I am, please, uh, uh, not the text, do not look at the text, try to understand the context what I'm going to tell you. And it will be better for you to watch the video serial. And when you find something uh, difficult, please make, uh, if you don't understand anything, please make a comment at the end of the video. At the end of the video, you see there is a comment line. Make a comment. If you don't understand something, make a comment, then I will get a notification. And then, well, then I will reply you. And then uh, you will get reply notification. I will try to help you. But in order to get my notification, you have to subscribe my channel. 
you have to subscribe with them. In order to subscribe, you, you need to use a, with, with a Gmail address, right? Maybe your university uh, email address will not work. So in next class, by next class, before you come to next class, please watch these videos. Okay, no matter if you do not take Java class in lab or take it, no matter, you have, please do it. Because definitely from next class, I will demonstrate some, pro, some algorithm here and I will implement those algorithm at least with one programming language. That's the first thing I want to uh, demonstrate with Java. Then once I uh, write in Java, then I will convert it with easily with, with Python or with C sharp or with C or C++. Yes, sir. I like Eclipse, you can use NetBeam or you can use uh, uh, Zcrush or something. But Eclipse is the best one that all companies and industries use. All industries, I have, I want to, uh, for the last uh, three, three more than three, the four industries I have worked for the last four years. All industries, they use Eclipse. Because Eclipse has some, uh, it's free open source and it has some power, power that you can integrate some other tools. There are many other tools that you can integrate with it. That you may not be able to integrate with C sharp or with Python or with, with, with J graphs or I I work with you know at the time when I first wrote my this uh, Java programming book, at that time Eclipse was not introduced in our country. You know, I did not care about Eclipse. So what, how I wrote program? We use only uh, we use uh, not just just the simple uh, notepad. Notepad to write the program. Imagine how difficult it was because writing a program and notepad, notepad, it it did not tell us the syntax error. It did not tell me any syntax error. Okay, I got the syntax error only when I compiled the program. Okay, only when I compile the program, then I got to the bar. But uh, Eclipse is when you type in something, instantly it tells you to compile, compile the program. Yeah, it tells you to compile compilation method. So then we wrote the programs and then we integrate them, those programs manually. But here in Eclipse, you will see at the end of this video. So if you go to this video, or if I uh, on this video, maybe you see you see that Eclipse has created in a way that it shows the keywords in different colors. And as soon as you try the program, it actually it shows your compilation method. You don't need to wait to compile the program and to run the program to see compilation method. This is very amazing facility that I did not get during my time when I wrote this first book. Then this is why like during the last three or four years I rewrote this book. This is the second version of my first book. It looks tiny there, but it's a smaller font. The same programs, but it has, I, some, I just deleted some programs from this first book because those were written and they, uh, described in using uh, Notepad. <coughs> but it's for the new book, I explained with Eclipse. Okay, this is the first thing. And the second thing, I like all of you, there is no exception for this. I like all of you to use GitHub. Okay, I like all of you to be used to using GitHub. So if you use GitHub, then if you need extra help, then if you join in my uh, 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 forum, and then if you get stuck with your program, then if you load it in, in your GitHub account, and if you need my help, I can help you. Because the feature of the GitHub is that when you save your program on GitHub, 
if you share, if you make a collaborator to someone, he can work for you, right? No matter from uh, where he is, whether he, he, if he or she sits next to you or the next side of the world. Huh? Synchronously, you can work together. So everybody, uh, so no matter, don't feel shy. I don't expect that everybody here, you know GitHub. Even some graduate students, you may have that. They don't know about GitHub. They don't. They are not used to. But I like to make you a, an intermediate level expert of GitHub by the end of this semester. Not an expert level, expert level, but intermediate level. Okay. So then you will be able to put all of your assignments in your GitHub account, and then you can share your project. Definitely, don't share your assignment. Okay. <clears throat> and you will be see. You will see your life will be easy. Like for instance, here, yeah, you know, when I was writing my books, this book, I use, uh, when I need to uh, transfer my files from one book to one computer to another computer, I use floppy drive. Have you heard about floppy drive? Have you seen floppy drive? Because it was 30 years ago, about 25 years ago. Like we used 20 years ago when I was a student like you, we used uh, floppy drive. But my professor told us that they used Pants card. <laughs> right? 50 years ago, 40 years ago, our professor used Pants card. So they got a, another huge bag of 40 pounds or 50 pounds to carry their Pants card. Then we, try, we got, uh, uh, what is that, a CD, then DVD, then flash drive. Now people do not use even those, right? They use virtual drive, Google drive, Dropbox. Like here, on drive, right? A lot of facilities. So now, if you become determined that you would, not, you will not use a Google Drive, you will not use uh, any on drive or virtual drive, then your life will be difficult. So then, similar, if you if you do not understand and do not use GitHub, then your life will be same difficult if that you if you do not use any mobile device or. Uh, uh, so I like you to. I have some of uh, a lot of some videos. Actually, GitHub is easy, very simple. I can teach most of the things in two classes, or on two classes. Basic things I can teach you on. But I don't like to uh, spend my time, uh, adequate time, for teaching it, uh, uh, the like this optional thing. Rather, I am planning to make some videos. I already have videos, GitHub videos, in my. Uh, Native language. I'm try, I will try to make in the weekend. I will try to some uh, GitHub videos in the in, in the weekend or by next week, so that if I share this video with you and then if you watch this video and do some practice, you will uh, do. But for now, for one one, give me how long would you have? How many times would you have? How long? 30 minutes? Okay, let us miss, uh, like spend five more minutes. Okay, five minutes, okay? So everybody, uh, so please volunteer with me who have GitHub account to help each other. Okay, so who have GitHub account, please volunteer with me, okay, to, to move around. And who do not have a GitHub account, let me help you to create GitHub account. Okay, please, any browser. Please open any browser and click github.com. I have seen creating a GitHub account is the easiest, the most easiest way. Just go to github.com, okay, github.com, and you will see that this, 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 this thing, okay? So here you will see the sign up for GitHub, or you need to sign up for one time. Okay? I like you to use your Gmail account, okay? You can use your university account or other account, but I found easier to use. Gmail account. Okay.
okay so give your pick up a user name okay i like to give the give, i like i usually give my first part of my email address except address uh, the part part before at the gmail.com then put up your email address or gmail address over there and choose the password do not forget the password okay and then hit on the sign up button even it does not ask you to re-enter your password second time Okay, so very easy. And then when you click on sign up to GitHub, then it will send you an email to your email address that we provide over there. And then open the email and click on the link that it will activate your account. Okay, please do it. It will need not take more than five minutes. Please raise your hand. We need help. Once you create your account, pick up a good name, okay? Pick up a good name that you can remember, okay? And pick, give a simple password that you can remember. You will not put your money over here, okay? Yes. Oh, can you update the information like um, the username in an already existing GitHub account? Yeah. So then use another, that, that means you already have that account. So then use another account. Then if you show, it shows that, that the account on the email address already exists because your email address is unique, right? Your email address is unique. Then, then maybe you do have an account. And try to log in. Then if you have an account, then you don't need to sign up. Just click on the sign in button. Is a GitHub is a Git based platform. Git is me is is a what is called version control system. You know, version control means that for instance, if everybody all of our we maintain some um, files, like for instance our resume or our CV, right? And we frequently we update our resume, change it, right? But if you want to keep the changing track. You want to keep the changing track, okay? Then uh, it, it, there is a, a old way that you will save your file with different name, version one, version two, version three, okay? But you, then you ultimately over the years, over the last next five years, you will have hundred files, okay? the same file with different name. But with version control system using Git, you will have only one file, one name. But internally, GitHub, internally, we control and save all of your previous ones. If you want to go back to your previous one version, like no matter three years back, four years back, two days back, two hours back, you can go to that in a few seconds. So GitHub, using maintaining GitHub account and then keeping your project is almost free. But unless if you make any private uh, project, most of the companies, they use GitHub, but they use their corporate account. They, in, when you're working in company, definitely you have to use any version control system. Your company will not give you any flash drive to share your pro, program code with your manager, with your uh, next person. They will ask you to, they will give you the link of the project and they will tell you, okay, this is my project, clone it. They in GitHub or over, over any version control system, download it, clone it, or it and submit your work. They will not give you a chance to submit your work by, through email, through uh, class drive. So definitely you have to use it. So then why not we learn ahead of time? So if you start now, within the next three years, when you go to company or job, you will be master. Okay. Everybody is done. Can you, anyone need help? Can, you help? can, can anyone please help me? You need me or anyone can help you? Can, can anyone please help me? Hmm? Who need help? Can anyone give me a second? Can you, 
What are you doing? Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Okay, then when you create your GitHub account, okay, then your life is easy. Okay, then you got a virtual, virtual drive, virtual flash drive, okay. The, then log in, first time you only, then sign in. Next time you go there, then the next time you sign in. For instance, if I sign in to my GitHub repository, that you have, you see, I have 78 projects. I have in my GitHub repository, I have all of my books source code. So no matter where I go to T, where I go to work, I open my source code in a minute from my GitHub account and I can see. This is how you should work. Then they, then you will be an expert ultimately. Okay, so then once you create your GitHub account, so now do a Google search or go to YouTube and watch some Okay, maybe from the next class, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to make a, a more efficient way to collaborate with you because it's difficult really to maintain with email and then for me alone to help all of you alone. So this is why I want to do uh, mm. uh, two things and uh, two other things that I want to use for, the, for this class, I want to use Teams, Microsoft Teams. Do anyone have an idea about Teams? Microsoft Teams? No? Okay, anyone has a, a previous experience in using... What is that called? Slack? Slack? Okay, Slack is another communication tool. Many companies they use, uh, I work with three, out of three, uh, my four companies, two of the companies they use Slack. Slack is a very convenient communication tool because we have, the Slack has multiple apps. Web app, it has, it has desktop app, it has Android and iOS mobile. So that one of the features is that if, it, if I create a Slack account, and if you give a message, the single message will go to all of the members. And you can give a, send a personal message to anyone else, one-to-one -one communication. You can do one-to-one -one communication and you can do general communication. That by sending one message, same, same message to all of the participants is easier. Sometimes I have seen that the people are asking me, multiple people, students ask the students are same question. Yes, I'm telling you that's okay. <laughs> so I have seen that I have seen that I have seen that student many students ask same question. Almost half of the students ask same question. So this is why I created I uh, 
this one is my video. Okay, that when student asks me some question, I, I told them, okay, please watch my video. Watch this video and you will get answer. If you don't get an answer, then come back to me. Nobody came back. Okay, then Slack. We will, for I want to use Slack only for my uh, CSI TED expert forum. If you join in my, if you want to join in my CSI TED uh, uh, expert forum, then uh, I will add you to the Slack. But for this class, for officially, I will use uh, Team, Microsoft Team. Microsoft Team is a team is a similar app like like. Uh, Slack. So maybe I have uh, uh, it's free. Slack is free. But for corporate you corporate you say corporate is it is it is costly, it takes time, it, it takes money for corporate because free slack and for free slack it takes it saves all of the messages and you can communicate, you can uh, uh, transmit larger files, but for three version, three version that I'm going to use, it has limitation. It only says last ten thousand or five thousand messages. But for now, for this class, uh, for my this our communication, maybe five thousand or ten thousand uh, uh, messages should be fine. For instance, I will use for this class. I will. I'm just creating this team. It's Microsoft product. It's free from the university. And then I will use Teams. So then I will uh, invite I will invite all of you to this Teams lab team. So you will get a, an email to your official email address. Maybe I'm trying to how to do that. So in your official email address, if uh, I I I like to make it all the optional, but I like to make it compulsory type optional. What is that between? Because sometimes I will, if I want to share some file with you, I will share here. Instead of email, sending an email, it's better I can quickly send a, a file over here. So if I want to share a file with you, if I share a file here, all of you will get at the same time. I don't need to type all of your email addresses. Can we use the uh, form function in D2L? I feel like that's a lot more accessible. Yes, D2L, but does D2L. Uh, has mobile apps? Uh, no. Each has mobile. So you can you can use mobile devices and you can use your app or you can also desktop app. So anything you can use simultaneously. Sometimes you may need to get a picture from your mobile. You have to send it, right? Sometimes you may need to get your picture from your or file from your computer and you may need to send it here. It's easier. I have seen that. I have used I have used many communication tools, but most of the things I like Slack. Then the second one, university asked me to use Team. As, uh, I proposed to use uh, Slack, but they said Microsoft has Team, so this is free for all. So this is why I want to offer. I will create a uh, Team. I have created already. I will add all of you with your university email address. But if I have already created my another my Slack account for uh, for my CSIT at expert online forum, but if you want to join in this forum, but you need to send me an email. You need to send me an email to to this email address, CSIT at experts at gmail address at gmail dot com, and it must be it is optional, but it must be from your Gmail account. If you send me another Gmail account, then I will not accept that. Do not allow me. Share my file. I will, maybe ultimately I will share you with some Google files, maybe like Google Drive. Yes. 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 Join in my uh, join in this online forum. It's not required. It's optional. Okay. So, so let us see how many join in, and then uh, let let us see what do we want. Yeah, I will not do everyone. I will make some of you as a 
I have my my actually my I C T R guru uh, that my this energy is almost rich and this it has about five hundred videos but you will not be able to see all of these videos there are some private channels. Private uh, videos that I share with my uh, other people, other people. Sometimes I do voluntary work, I taught online courses, I share with them. But ultimately, I have my goal to enrich my uh, ICTR guru, uh, sorry, my uh, mm, CSITR experts. So, this is for just for academia, with academic things that I want to share, and ultimately, uh, let us see. But it's not uh, possible for me alone. To do the thing, I like to invite some of you. If you please join in this forum and do your some do some voluntary work, make some video, and then up, we will upload over here. And then ultimately see what will happen. Like not only in this class, you will if this some of these videos and some of this content will be helpful for you even five years later when you go to company and when you work. Yes, sir. Are you passing around the finance sheet today? Oh, did I forget it? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I thought I'd like to. Before I come in, can I just cross out? I think we want to cross out. Cross there on the next one? Yes. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, thank you so much. Please remind me. Remind me sometime at the beginning of my class and record it. I thought I gave him the thing. Uh, I thought I gave him the thing. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else? Anything else I forgot? Hey, yeah, I forgot that as uh, I forgot to tell you a story. That I told it was just few hours ago in my previous class. I, I I forgot I want to tell you two stories, okay? The two minutes. Yeah, give me. Okay. So like like other professors, I have some restriction in this class. I will imply that restriction in this class. One of the things that in my class you are not allowed to use any social media or any uh, outsourcing or other other things unless I tell you. Okay, you are not allowed to do chatting or web browsing or Facebook communication with your friends and, and no matter. But if let us use let us use technologies and digital devices positively. You can record your class, you can record my class, no problem. You can, you can use your phones and then you can use your computer for recording and keeping your notes, no problem. But please, 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 do not, do not, okay, misuse this facility by watching YouTube video and then uh, by listening music or song or doing uh, Facebook communication with friends, okay. Is there, is there any uh, problem with that one? Everybody agrees? Everybody agrees with me? Okay. Otherwise, if you do not agree, then I will hurt. I will become hard. That other professors they told me. Other professors they recommend me something serious. They told me that do not allow your students to open class, uh, phones or open laptop. I'm not going to do that, tell that, but please let us use positive. Okay. Okay, that's 
My story is that, let me, by the time you sign on the seat, I'm going to tell you two stories, okay? My favorite stories, I will always tell these stories to my students. Something is that, you know, object-oriented programming and learning programming language, okay? Like, it is something like that how do we learn swimming? If you take a swimming theory class, but you do not dive into water, a swimming pool, never and ever you will not learn how to swim. Right? True? So, this class, if you do not practice programming, you will not learn. You will not be a programmer. Okay? But if you only write program on a piece of paper, or if you look at my program and the book, but if you do not do not type in program, even if you do a program from a GitHub account or any other GitHub account, and if you copy it and paste it and run it, you will not learn programming. You have to type yourself, and while typing your program, you will do some mistakes. And while doing mistakes, you will understand the mistake effect of this mistake, and then you will remember that, and later when you get an error message, you will remember, oh, this error message is coming due to the reason of that mistake. Okay? And second thing that, well, please do that, okay? So, so please do practice programming. Every day, every week, please, okay, update yourself, update your GitHub, GitHub account with some program. Okay? I want to see that you have an enriched GitHub account with 30, 40 projects or programs uh, in your GitHub account by the end of this semester. Okay, the second thing is that, to me, with my experience, while I was, you know, I, I spend my whole night sometimes while writing my book. Whole night. I work at daytime and sleep at it, sometimes at night and the whole night I work. I wrote my book. And while, while programming, especially while compiling my books and programming, sometimes I spend whole night. And then it seems to me, it was possible for me because it, the programming, and uh, is like a coconut for me. I, coconut is a favorite food. It's my favorite food. I claim tea. Coconut is very strong coconut tea in my country and to get coconut. Okay, right now, yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Not that. So, you know, everybody knows coconut? Everybody, is, is there anybody that uh, does not like coconut or even never tasted coconut? You never tasted coconut? You don't like, but you have never tasted coconut? That is a problem. That is an exception. Yeah, that is exception. But coconut is really a nice. But if you want to taste a coconut, if you want to eat a coconut like an apple, right? You grab an apple and start eating, right? But if you do that with a coconut, then coconut will be the worst food in the world, <laughs> right? Especially if it's not a baby coconut. You know, if it's not green coconut, okay, it's rice coconut. Then by, but who among us who like coconut and who have tasted coconut, we know that. Breaking, if you get a coconut, you have to break it down, right? You have to make it the outer part, pink, and then there is a shell, very heavy shell, and you have to break down that shell, right? Once you break down the coconut, a coconut shell, then you will get the test, right? If we do... Let me bring some coconut. Yeah. So this is a baby, a green coconut. But there are some adult coconut that are like, not like this, right? So, so if you cannot break down the coconut out of inner shape, Inheritance, polymorphism, abstraction, 
interface, exception handling, trading. So if you understand the basic concept of this, then your programming class will be like a program. And then you sometimes you spend whole night, whole weekend by writing program. Nobody you will be self motivated. Nobody will need to tell you write your program. You will do yourself. But you need to break down the chain that half is part, right? In order to get the coconut, something similar to this class. If you do some initial product, I know that the past few weeks will be difficult. And once you understand the basic concept of object driven programming, then I believe this class will be your base class. This class will be your base class, I'm sure. But you have to spend some time. You have to some give some extra time. Okay, so this is why I'm telling you, don't keep shy. I have my uh, office hour, and then uh, not only me, there are other professors over there. We are ready to help you. But you know that the last story I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you that is there anybody here who have never seen how to fish, how to fishing, fishing, fishing? Have you ever, you have never seen how to fishing? Yeah, when you go to the pond or river or lake or ocean, we have not seen how to how to be Okay? Okay. So no doubt that everybody has either you have bass fishing or you have fin fishing, right? Yeah. Okay? But the one thing that that the YouTube one thing that realize that okay that no matter how many fishes are there in the pond, okay, if a pond has millions of fish, no fish will come to your bucket, right? No fish, even if you have over no fish in, in a pond or lake, if you stay over there, no fish will come to your bucket. Okay, you have to catch the fish, right? You have to, so I am a fish. <laughs> <laughs> Not only me, we have the professors, uh, over there, teachers and instructors, at GA, we have to fish. You have to scatter. You have to scatter our time, okay? We will not go to you. We will not come to you, okay? Is that my uh, sign in this dance? I'm sorry, give me. You know, you are, you are 120, about 120 students. All of you are brilliant. I have no doubt. All of you are more bright than me. I am from a hard work country. This is a country that at the time when I was a student like you, even I had that thing for fingers in my classroom. Our professors show it. there was a museum, computer museum in our department. Our professor showed that that is called computer. Our professor showed that that is the computer. Okay? When we learn, I learn uh, first term, uh, it's called uh, four time programming language. Then, then Q, Q basic, quick basic, then basic, then uh, Fox Pro, then other C, C++, plus plus. okay? But you are lucky. Your life is easy. Okay, so then, then please help me sometimes, okay? So if I forget something, and if I do some mistake, give me a chance to be corrected. As a human being, I can do something, mistake, and I can tell something that is wrong, that is not true. But in the not sense that I will tell you any lie. But maybe I can tell you that I will try a code program code that may not right, run true. But I will expect that it will run, but it may not run. So if I do a mistake, please help me to be directed, okay? And let us work together collaboratively to make this class an, an interactive class and the base class we will take. So let us do and then by the time I am telling you although required really it will be helpful for me. So first thing that please subscribe to this channel and then please send me an email. Say, send me an email to this, this, uh, this email address from your Gmail address. I will not accept from other email address. From your Gmail address, if you want to join in this program. If you join in this program, you will learn something new. That more than some graduates to them.
Xin chào các bạn. I'm waiting for the <laughs> yes, you can email me. Sorry? <laughs> yes. No, 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 no. no.